Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm going to show you how to install the Agaro bot with this new method. So first off, what you want to do is go to this website, jlinks.net forward slash bot. This will also be in the video description. So just go down there to go to the link. Then once you're on this site, all you want to do is select the browser you're using. So if you're using Chrome, Firefox or Opera. So since we're using Google Chrome, we're going to click on Chrome. Now for step one, you just have to make sure that you don't have any other agar um, extensions like agar.io extended or anything like that because that will mess up with this bot and it won't work. So you need to make sure you remove them or disable them. So I don't have any at the moment so I can just go next. Then I need to install the Tamper Monkey plugin for Google Chrome. So what I want to do is click on this, takes me straight to the page, then click on Add to Chrome, click Add, and there we go, that icon there means that it's installed. So we can close out of that, close out of that, and go back to the page, and see just on that picture there, that icon means it's installed. So all we have to do now is click Next, then we see we need to add these two files. So what you want to do is click on the first one, it takes you to this page, then what you want to do is click on raw, and then it takes you to this page, and then simply press install, and then you can close out of that, and then what you want to do is do the exact same thing, but with this launcher file. So you click on that, click raw, again, click install, close out of that, and then we go next and then we're done so pretty much this is just telling you to access the settings or change your username in the game all you have to do is press the escape key on your keyboard that's the top left key so now we click go to a guard and here we are it's playing so what we want to do is click escape go test so change these settings around click play now you notice it doesn't change our name straight away because we need to die first. So if I take control of the bot by pressing T, now the bot is off, you can see in the top left corner. So now if I go into someone, I die and I respawn with my username test. So that's just what you have to do to apply the username. Then after that, each time you die, you'll respawn with the same username. So if I kill myself again, test, there we go. So um, to control the bot, you press T turn it on, by default it should be on, it tells you in the top left, and then R is to disable or enable these lines here. Now if we go back over to this page, we can go help slash keys, and it tells you all the keys in case you forget. So you've got R, T, D is to toggle dark mode on and off, and you've got F to show your mass, so nothing, then press F and it says my mass which is 15 at the moment. And again, escape key, which gets you to this menu. So yeah, um, last thing before I go is um, if you're running multiple bots, make sure they're all visible on your screen because if they're in different tabs, it doesn't seem to work. Now, I've tried this out with multiple browsers and it seems like it's a problem with the browsers themselves, not the bot. So that doesn't seem like it will be fixed. But what you can do is just open multiple instances and just drag it your windows around so they're all visible but other than that um yeah definitely have a go with this bot try it out um let me know what you think this is this bot is constantly being updated so um just recently they've added into the bot so it automatically checks for updates so if you go to the agar page it will um automatically prompt you saying there's an update if there is one available so yeah uh, thanks for watching, rate this video up, share it with all your friends, and yeah, catch you guys later.